Welcome to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. President Obama kicked off his second-term push for immigration reform Tuesday with a speech in Nevada, a battleground state whose growing Latino vote helped him win the November election. I'm here today because the time has come for common sense, comprehensive immigration reform. The time is now. We have to deal with the 11 million individuals who are here illegally. Now, we all agree that these men and women should have to earn their way to citizenship. But for comprehensive immigration reform to work, it must be clear from the outset that there is a pathway to citizenship. President Obama omitted detailed proposals from his address, instead backing the bipartisan Senate plan that includes a path to citizenship for a large number of the estimated 11 million undocumented people in the United States, but also tougher border enforcement and a system for tracking those who overstay visas. In his remarks, Obama took aim at anti-immigrant sentiment, saying foreign nationals are being maligned by people who forget their own ancestral past. It's easy sometimes for the discussion to take on a feeling of us versus them. And when that happens, a lot of folks forget that most of us used to be them. We forget that. And it's really important for us to remember our history. You know, uh, uh, unless you're one of the first Americans, a Native American, you came from someplace else. Somebody brought you. Despite embracing the bipartisan Senate plan, Obama vowed to send his own immigration bill to Congress if lawmakers don't take immediate action. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.